welcome back for some more film trivia. Today we're going to have a look at a film that focuses on fighting corporations, standing up for yourself, or in just some cases starting a fight. Why? Because you can. These are the top 17 facts about Fight Club. Number 17. Author Chuck Palahniuk first came up with the idea for the novel after going on a camping trip and being beaten up by some nearby campers after complaining about the noise from their radio. When he returned to work, he found that none of his colleagues acknowledged or even mentioned his injuries, instead asking such commonplace things as, how was your weekend? Polania concluded that the reason his colleagues reacted in this manner was because it would allow a degree of personal interaction and he found that his colleagues just didn't care enough about him. It was this fascination of societal blocking that became the foundation for the novel. Number 16. According to Chuck Palahniuk, much of the specific content from the novel, such as splicing single frames of pornography into family films, attending support groups for the terminally ill, and erasing videotapes, came from stories that were told to him by friends and what they actually did. Number 15. Producer Ross Grayson Bell originally wanted Russell Crowe to play the role of Tyler Durden, but he was overruled by fellow producer Art Linson, who felt that Brad Pitt was better for the role. Bell has since said that he is glad that Linson stepped in, as he wouldn't imagine anyone being better in the role than Brad Pitt. Number 14. The following actresses were considered for the role of Marla Singer. Courtney Love, Anna Friel, Janine Garofalo, Winona Ryder, Reese Witherspoon, and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Number 13. The following actors were considered for the role of the narrator, Matt Damon and Sean Penn. Number 12. The following directors were considered for the film, Peter Jackson, Brian Singer, and Danny Boyle. Number 11. In the short scene where Brad Pitt and Edward Norton are drunk and hitting golf balls, they really are drunk. The golf balls they are hitting are sailing into the side of a catering truck nearby. Number 10. When the narrator hits Tyler Durden in the ear, Edward Norton actually did punch Brad Pitt in the ear. Norton was going to fake hit him, but before the scene was shot, director David Fincher pulled Norton aside and told him to hit him for real. After the scene was done, you can see Norton smiling and laughing while Brad Pitt is in pain. Number 9. When Tyler catches the narrator listening at the door whilst he is having sex with Marla, he is wearing a rubber glove. This was Brad Pitt's idea and it caused a lot of controversy with president of production of Fox 2000 Pictures, Laura Siskin, who demanded that the scene be removed. At a subsequent test screening, the sight of the rubber glove got the biggest laugh of the whole movie, prompting Ziskin to change her mind. Number 8. The original pillow talk scene had Marla saying, I want to have your abortion. When Ziskin objected to this, David Fincher said he would change the line on the proviso that the new line stays in the film. Ziskin agreed and Fincher wrote the new line, I haven't been fucked like that since grade school. When Siskin saw the new line, she was even more outraged and requested the old line be put back in. As per their agreement, David Fincher refused. Number 7. Tyler Durden was originally going to recite a workable recipe for homemade explosives, but in the interest of public safety, the filmmakers decided to substitute fake ones for the real ones. Number 6. Brad Pitt and Edward Norton actually did learn how to make soap. Number 5. Brad Pitt wasn't overly interested in making the film until David Fincher arrived on his doorstep during the making of Meet Joe Black, insisting that they go for a beer. It was over this beer that Fincher pitched the idea of Fight Club to Brad Pitt and he accepted to read the screenplay. Number 4. The famous line the first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. It's functional to both the plot and to remind the viewers not to ruin the plot twist. Number 3. In an infamous incident, 
the Friday that the film was released in the United States, Rosie O'Donnell appeared on her TV show and revealed that she had seen the film earlier in the week and that she had been unable to sleep ever since. She then proceeded to give away the plot twist of the film and urged her viewers not to go see it. Brad Pitt, David Fincher and Edward Norton discussed the incident on the DVD commentary track and Pitt calls O'Donnell's actions unforgivable. Number 2 Chuck Palahniuk revealed that when he wrote the novel, he did not know that Tyler Durden and a narrator were the same person until two-thirds of the way through the story, at which point he noticed that they acted together as one person and decided to finish the story as such. Number 1 After the copyright warning, there is another warning on the DVD. This warning is from Tyler Durden and it's only there for a second. It says, If you are reading this, then this warning is for you. Every word you read of this useless fine print is another second off your life. Don't you have other things to do? Is your life so empty that you honestly can't think of a better way to spend these moments? Or are you so impressed with authority that you give respect and credence to all who claim it? Do you read everything you're supposed to read? Do you think everything you're supposed to think? Buy what you're told you should want. Get out of your apartment. Be a member of the opposite sex. Stop the excessive shopping and masturbation. Quit your job. Start a fight. Prove you're alive. If you don't claim your humanity, you will become another statistic. You have been warned. Tyler. So that concludes all of our fun facts about Fight Club. Do you have any fun facts about the novel itself or even more about the film? the filmmaking process, behind the scenes, the soundtrack, anything at all. If you do, as always, leave it in the comment section below. Check us out on Twitter and Instagram. Yes, we have a Twitter and Instagram now. We're moving on with the social media platform. Anyway, give us a like, give us a share, check out our other videos, and keep an eye out for more random trivia coming your way.